Hello, in this clip we're going to be talking about uh, tactile images, in particular the PF, Pictures in a Flash, Tactile Image Maker. This is essentially a heating mechanism. We have an input through here, paper slides through the heating bar and out the other side. The heating actually works with this special coated paper, this is called Xi paper, which is a little bit rough on one side and smooth on the other and it's coated with a chemical that actually raises up when heat is applied to it. If I was to uh, paint black paint on this and put it through it would get completely raised. Instead of that we just use um, carbon based inked felt markers, uh, graphite pencils or uh, print from an ink printer. We could actually do a tactile image uh, in a drawing program, print it through just a regular inkjet printer and then Put the, the resulting paper through the PF and the lines would raise. So I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. So first of all, let me just draw a basic shape. This is just in pencil. Now it's very rough. So this is just a, a rectangle. I can't feel it at the moment because I've just drawn it in pencil. I put it through the. I put it through the PF. The heating element, as you can see, heats up, and then as we come out the other side, we then get a raised surface. Now you won't be able to see this well on the camera. It's only slightly raised here. If I put it through another time, it will get a little bit further raised. And if I was to use a darker ink. Uh, with, with some kind of a marker pen, the carbon ink based marker pen, that would come out quite thick. Now it is tactile, I can feel that shape like this. And what's also beneficial of course is that I can see that shape, the teacher can actually see the shape that the blind child is feeling as well. What we found with tactile graphics is they are best taught in a very direct interactive way, one on one with a teacher who's layering the teaching. So it, it's no sense to draw a complex or print a complex diagram um, in, in, in an unlayered way. Much better to start with uh, the components of tactiles, for example rectangles or triangles and squares and so on, and then layer them in to get more and more complex shapes. So once a blind child has understood the concept of a rectangle, that two edges are actually longer than two others, and so they can differentiate by feel the difference in distance between these various corners, then we can start to talk about um, other shapes layered on top of that. For example, we might put squares within the rectangle. So here now we're going to put a couple of squares and another tall rectangle here. We'll put that through the PR. And while we're doing this, of course, we're talking about the concept of, say, a house with windows. These are iconic visual images. So instantly a child, a sighted child, would recognise what that was. Uh, especially when we put another iconic object, the triangular roof, on top, like this. So now we're talking about layering some uh, geometric objects. This way the blind child can get a sense of three cornered things, four cornered things and also then of course the concept of something being at the lower end on the ground rising up and then coming to a peak here. This is the only really successful way of teaching tactiles in a layered way. And the PF is great because it allows you to do this very spontaneously. Uh, you can add things in, you can even get the blind child to start shading for example within, within an area. So let's say they start to shade within the areas here of the windows. They can feel that they, um, that as, they're, as they're drawing that they're feeling that they haven't gone beyond the boundaries and then they can test that. They can test that as they put it through the PR. And you can see how quick and spontaneous this process is. 
While I'm saying this, of course, you should be mindful that there are electronic ways of producing tactiles with braille embossers and so on, but the, uh, they are, in fact, a slower process than, than this layered approach directly with PF swell paper. So here now I can feel the raised area. So now we've got a bit of texture going in here as well. We can start to do things like draw the ground, Maybe then we can even start to do things like clouds, irregular objects. And these spatial concepts, of course, are crucial to the, the learning of uh, up, down, irregular shapes, regular shapes, and so on. Thank you.